In this video, we will look at the fundamentals of capital budgeting. Allocation of funds. is an important function of financial management. So what is allocation of funds? Allocation of funds means how much investment should be made in which area of the business. One such decision is to decide how much to invest in short term assets and how much to invest in long term assets. The short term assets are also known as current assets while the long term assets are known as the fixed assets. Now the short term investment decision is also known as management of capital assets or working capital management. while the long term investment decision is also known as capital budgeting. Now what are long term assets? So the long term assets or fixed assets are those that affect the firm's operations beyond one year period. Some examples include machinery which will be used to manufacture goods, furniture, buildings, computers to carry out the business activities large computer software such as ERPs etc. Now let us understand the term capital budgeting in a different way. So capital budgeting can be broken into three parts. First is capital, second I would say is budget and the third is budgeting. So here the term capital refers to long term assets used in business operations. Budget is a plan that details the projected inflows and outflows during some future period. So the capital budget is a plan of investments in long term or fixed assets while capital budgeting is the whole process of analyzing projects and deciding which ones to include in the capital budget. Now there are multiple factors involved in the capital budgeting process. So let us look at some of those. The first factor that we look at is strategic direction and flexibility. Strategic direction and flexibility. Now a firm's capital budgeting decisions 
generally define its strategic direction. If a company wants to manufacture new products or expand to a new location, the company will have to buy new machinery, buildings, furniture, etc. Now, these decisions once made may lock the funds for a long period of time. The firm may lose flexibility and moving funds in and out of capital expenditures takes a long time. So if the company decides to buy new and costly machinery and then after some time realize that that machinery is not the right one for them, then to resell it and get the money unlocked will be a difficult task. The next factor that we'll look at is the accuracy of sales forecast. Now, if you decide to buy a new machinery in order to produce a product, you have forecasted that there is going to be a need for that product in the future for a number of years, let's say 10 years. Also, the forecasted sales would be high enough to recover the amount of investment that you are making in the machine. So since this is based on a forecast, the forecasting process has to be very accurate. The third factor that we look at is timing and quality. Since the capital expenditure decisions involve big amount of funds, the decision has to be made with a lot of thought. If you make a huge investment, your company will incur high depreciation and other expenses. Whereas, on the other hand, if you do not invest enough, then two conditions can rise. First, your equipment or software may not be modern enough to produce the cutting edge and high quality products that your competitor is producing. So not able to produce quality products. And second is that you may not have enough capacity to handle the sudden increase in demand of the products and may lose the market to your competitors. So second is not enough capacity. So capital budgeting if done effectively can improve both the timing and quality of assets in your company. It also requires that the firm foresees its needs in the future and purchases capital assets at the right time. Because if you realize that you have to expand your production capacity when the demand is already at its peak, then you will miss out on the opportunity because you won't have enough capacity to produce when the demand was at its peak. So timing is very key. So this is what makes the capital budgeting decisions so important for a firm. Now in order to identify where to invest, a firm needs to generate many ideas. For example, let's say the company wants to buy new machinery. There are many 
machinery available in the market. So the firm has to first decide which type of machinery to invest in. Or a firm may want to know whether they should invest in a new accounting application or a new building or buy new laptops or buy new machinery. Now all of these may or may not be the best investment at a particular point in time. So the capital budgeting process helps in screening the projects to decide which ones to be selected. Now there are various techniques which can be used to rank projects and to decide whether or not they should be accepted for inclusion in the capital budget. Some of these techniques are first net present value. also known as NPV. Second, internal rate of return. Or IRR. Third, modified internal rate of return also known as MIRR fourth profitability index or benefit cost ratio fifth payback period sixth discounted payback period, 7th, accounting, rate of return or ARR. Now we will look at each of these methods in detail in the subsequent videos.